Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Cannibal Inc., on how we can get a displacement map to show up on our metal ray materials. So to illustrate this, I have a simple scene set up here. Basically, I just have a simple blend uh, with a displacement map on it. And I also have uh, the same file as the displacement map plugged into the color as well, so we can kind of see where it's going to be. So let's go ahead and start by first rendering this out, just so that we can see uh, what we're working with here. So uh, as we can see, we have a simple displacement map on uh, this bottle here. So I'm going to go ahead and save this render so we can come back and compare later on. Um, let's go ahead and apply a metal ray material. So I'm going to come in and create something like uh, maybe an architectural material here. Let's go ahead and middle click to throw that onto the object. I'm also going to double click on the uh, architectural material and just come in and apply one of these glass presets, maybe like the uh, glass thin preset here. So we can see what our uh, bottle looks like now with the glass material on it. Uh, but we don't have the displacement map anymore. So let's take a look at how we can plug that in. I'm going to come in and um, just kind of get a little more room here. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the hypershade. The first thing I'd like to do uh, would be to actually plug this metal ray material into a another shader so that way I can plug the displacement map into that other shader and not have uh, that affect any of uh, the actual architectural material or any of the settings he in here. Uh, so for that, for that particular purpose I usually find it's good to use something kind of like a surface shader because uh, that way it doesn't introduce any of its own uh, shading or anything like that. So that way I can plug the mineral material into the surface shader. So to do that, we'll just middle click and drag that onto this. And I'm going to choose other here. And what we're going to want to look for is on the metal ray, uh, the architectural material side, we're going to want to come down and look for uh, the result. So that's the uh, resulting color, or the, uh, the result from the architectural material. And we'll plug that into the out color of the surface shader. OK, so uh, with that connection, just so we know what this is, I'm going to rename this real quick. Oh, real quick, this will be my glass material. Okay, so with that set up, let's come back in and make sure that we apply this surface shader to our bottle here. All right, great. We have the surface shader is actually applied to this bottle. Uh, but if we come in and we look at what it what the uh, architectural material looked like, and the result is exactly the same. And that's that's exactly what we want. Because now we can come in and actually plug in our displacement map to this surface shader. Um, so I already had the file loaded up. So uh, this is the just a sample displacement map here that I've created. So you can middle click on this file, go ahead and drag that onto the surface shader, and plug that into the displacement map. Okay, so uh, with that plugged in, we can see in the resulting render that we're getting uh, our displacement map coming in here. So this was before, and this is after with the displacement map plugged into the surface shader. Now, if we wanted to actually take this a step further uh, and we wanted to add some color into this, we can't really do that with this surface shader because we already have the result from the architectural material plugged into the color for this surface shader. But we can do that if we were to introduce something like a layered shader. So let's go ahead and drop one of those in here. Bring in a layered shader. Um, actually, let's come into the glass shader here and make sure that we disconnect the displacement map because uh, we're not going to need the displacement map on that anymore. So I'll go ahead and break the connection on that. So now with the uh, layered shader here, let's go ahead and drag the uh, glass material into the layered shader. Now it's important to note that um, in order to uh, use a metal ray material with a layered shader, you do need to plug it in through a Maya node. So uh, this surface shader will work, but if I try to take the architectural material and drag that in, uh, it's not going to let me bring that in. We have to actually plug in the result through the out color of something like a surface shader and then use that on the layered shader. 
Okay, so I have my glass material in here. I'm just going to come in and create another a real quick surface shader here to plug the color into. So I'll go ahead and bring in another node, uh, another file node here. And I actually have a in the source images here. I have just a simple color version of the displacement map just to kind of introduce some color in here. So we can come into the layer shader and bring in our color. And middle click and drag to uh, rearrange that so we have the color on top of the glass material. So now we need to actually reintroduce our displacement map. So to do that, we can once again simply come in and middle click and drag that onto our layered shader. So uh, let me make sure that I have my layered shader down here in the work area. Go ahead and select this, go into graph and add the selected to the graph. So we have our layered shader in here. And we can just middle click and drag and add that as a displacement map to the layered shader. So the last step here is to simply apply the layered shader to the bottle. And as we see, we're definitely getting the color in here, uh, but it seems that I've lost the actual uh, color, uh, the architectural material glass color. Um, so let's come in and I'm going to come back into my connections here just to make sure that I have everything connected up properly. Uh, so I have the uh, color surface shader on top of the glass material. We have the transparency and color plugged in here. And this is the color uh, yep, it looks like I forgot to actually plug in the transparency from the file uh, into the transparency for the surface shader. So basically what that means is that the color, or the color which is uh, black here, is uh, taking up my entire bottle. So we're not able to see the glass material underneath it. All right, great. We have our uh, final render here where we're able to see the glass material. We have our displacement map as well as introducing a little bit of color uh, to that area. So that's a quick look at how we can get a displacement map to render out with our metal ray materials. Now if you're having some issues with the displacement map being of poor quality, I'd recommend checking out the lesson on exploring displacement approximations in the introduction to metal ray in Maya course.